up YouTube, it's D-Man 10 here, and today I will show you the 4.2 jailbreak on all iDevices. Um, now I just want to start off with all the devices that are supported with this jailbreak. Um, you have the iPod Touch non-MC, the iPhone 3GS, old boot ROM, and the iPhone 3G. Now, the catch is... Um, all the other devices are um, accepted, but they are tethered. And what tethered means is you have to run the jailbreak program again if you want to um, turn on your iPod if it turned off, it died, or whatever. Um, so usually I don't even turn off my iPod anyway unless it dies, but and it usually doesn't die on me. I use it a lot. So, um, so yeah, let's start off with this jailbreak. All right, so you're going to have iTunes open. Um, Make sure you're restored cleanly to the 4.2.1 firmware. Um, I just restored cleanly and didn't do the backup. I did a new um, setup as a new iPod instead of do the backup. So everything is clean. I could show you right now. 4.2, it's like the stock applications and stuff. Um, I have no city on here at all. Um, so this is actually the first time I'm doing this, but um, I've tested it on other... Uh, other times and it does work good so you guys um, need to get the um, red snow in the description of this video just go open and um, it's red snow 0.9.6 beta 4 so I repeat it's 0.9.6 b4 I'll have a link down in the description for you um, and then you're just going to browse your firmware that you download from Felix Bruns which will also have a link to in the description um so i have a folder um for my stuff so you're going to select your device open it's going to process the firmware for you and it's going to ask you here if um you have a fixed model which is the MC model. Now the iPod Touch MC is a tethered jailbreak. Just remember, the only untethered um, iPod Touch is the MB model. And to check that, you can go into settings, about, general and about, and you can read which model you have. So I'm going to hit no, and you're going to hit next. And it's just going to load up all, it's just prepare the jailbreak for you. Just processing your firmware and stuff like that. Um, now, uh, if you guys don't want to, uh, like, update right away. I didn't update right away. That's why mine is at 11.20 at night when it came out yesterday. I waited to see if there was any problems, and there didn't seem to be problems. So, because, like, usually the, the firmware, like, 4.2.1 and, like, the 4.2.2, like, all those like point two or point one uh, firmwares, I never trust because it's usually betas. But this one actually works fine, and I follow very like highly jailbreak people, and they haven't had to seem to have a problem. Then they wouldn't um, they wouldn't release it if it wasn't good. So um, what you're gonna do is on uh, here, um, if you have one of those models that I said before that is untethered, you're gonna get a bunch of these options. Um, what you want to do is install Cydia, that's the jailbreak application itself. Um, none of this you really need. It's in, uh, instead of like enable battery percentage and home screen wallpaper if you like to add themes to your iPod and stuff. Um, I suggest you don't enable multitasking. I've had multitasking for the last couple of jailbreaks and it is bad. Like It slows actually slows down your iPod when you're not even using it, so it's not worth it. Um, so you're just going to hit next right there. And now here, you're going to um, put your device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do this, I'll show you. Um, first, have your iPod off, so just power off. So, it's turning off. Okay, it's off. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold the home and the power button for at least 10 seconds and then release the power button and keep holding the home button for until your computer recognizes it, it's in DFU mode. So you're just going to start, count down with me, 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be fine. Your screen could should be completely black. Then you're gonna hit next. And it's gonna recognize that your device is in DFU mode and your screen is gonna turn white for a second and then a picture should show up saying downloading jailbreaking um data. There you go. So all it's doing now is just um just processing the thing. And don't get worried that how this happened is the verbose boot um which shows you that the jailbreaking is working. Um, this is actually shows you if you guys are interested. It's an exploit that it's, um, I don't know if you guys were around for Limerain or not. If you're new to this, but Lime that was a Limerain exploit, and what it did was it um, shows a verbose boot. Um, even though if you didn't select it, it just it's actually pretty cool. It's like kind of reminds me of like those movies where you're like hacking computers in like the nineteen like 1990s and stuff like that. But uh. Yeah, so it's just um, downloading jailbreak stuff right now. Um, and just a reminder, I have videos, and I will put links in the description. You guys are going to want to save your SHSH files. If you don't know what SHSH files are, is um, there's this program that saves your files, SHSH files, that lets you downgrade to whatever firmware you want. So say this is this firmware is laggy or you don't really like it that much. You can downgrade to 4.0 or 4.1 if you want to, like um even 3.1.3 or 3.1.2. I have all those saved in my uh jailbreak folder. So they're all right here. This is uh 3.1.2 and this is 4.0. So I can do whatever I wanted to if I wanted to downgrade it. As long as iTunes supports it, it's able to be downgraded to that. So, um, on the computer, this says it's done. So, um, oh, and here, I didn't even see this. This is new. Um, this tells you that you can get your battery percentage. You have to switch it on in under settings, general usage. And that, uh, that'll let you allow, um, battery percentage. Now it's just rebooting. And the first reboot might take a little bit because it's loading the new firmware and uh, the jailbreak. Okay, here we go. And here's your background to show you that you are jailbroken. And here's Cydia. Just like that. And there's Join My Network. Ooh, this is new. This is all new layout. I'm kind of excited for this. I'm sure Sark did a good job. The, he's the maker of Cydia. So, um, yeah, I'm actually really excited about this. Um, I was originally on 4.0, um, and then I went to 4.1, but now this is a big jump. I didn't even do 4.2. I wasn't even home for it. So, um, I'm just going to slide unlock. And... Actually, I was not one of the people that um, got the white icon for Cydia. Some of you will get a white icon. What you have to do is um, open up Cydia, and it's going to say, like, reloading, data, closed, like it just said before for me. And then you're going to want to power off your device, power it back on, and you should get this brown icon. And if not, just keep trying. You will get it. And um, it's going to ask you if you're a user, hacker, or developer your user and just gonna hit done up here and it's just gonna load up city as so you guys know this is a legit jailbreak and like I was saying before this SHSH file is if you see up here I have all these saved it says 3.2 4.0 4.0.2 .4 and 4.1 are all saved on my device and uh, how this is how this happens is um you use that program and it grabs your like files that you are that are backed up on your computer and your Cydia device. 
So, like, it'll always be backed up in your iPod, but won't be visible if you need to restore and bring it to Apple or something like that. So, it's totally safe. That's why I jailbreak. It's because Apple, um, Apple doesn't support it, but it is legal. So, uh, it's not really affecting anything. I don't, I don't pirate apps. I don't pirate music anymore. I used to pirate music. I'll, um, I'll say that, but I stopped, uh, because... It's, I just realized it's not a big deal to buy music. So you're going to want to go to complete upgrade. A lot of people say do essential. I like to do complete. So that way you're getting the best, the best, uh, firmware and stuff like that. And it's going to do that word thing again. Sorry if this video is long, but I guys, I just want to get out, um, the right information to you guys so you guys know what you're doing. So it's reloading. And just reboot your device. There you go, guys. So that's basically it. That's how you jailbreak the 4.2 and 4.2.1 firmware. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll insert in the description if you are interested in what I was talking about before. Um, please subscribe. Uh, I got a new channel. I'll leave a link in the description also for that. Um, it's just basically me vlogging. So, um... Thanks a lot. Please subscribe. Have a nice day.